Good day. I am Jenny Joy Tikman Kaibiab from BSE3 Block 1 and I will discuss about the concepts of cell theory. First, what is cell theory? Cell theory in biology is a scientific theory first formulated in the mid-19th century. This theory states that living organisms are made up of cells. This concept was formally articulated in 1839 by Schleiden and Schwann and has remained in modern biology. Matthias Schleiden was a German botanist who examined a large number of plants and observed that all plants are composed of different kinds of cells that form the tissues of plants. Schleiden was one of the first German biologists to accept Charles Darwin's theory of evolution. Theodore Schwann was a British zoologist who studied different types of animal cells and reported that cells had a thin layer which is known as the plasma membrane. He also discovered pepsin, the first digestive enzyme prepared from animal tissue, and experimented to disprove spontaneous generation. Robert Hooke, the English philosopher who also known as Mr. Royal Society, he published Micrographia in 1665 coining cell or cellula which means small room. Anton van Leeuwenhoek is the father of microbiology. He discovered the microscope with 300 times and he also discovered tiny model objects in claim because motility is the quality of life and these specimens are living organisms. He made the first observations of human with the red blood cells and sperm cells. Lawrence Oaken, a proponent of natural science and philosophy, asserted that there are fundamental units of life, which he called infusoria. His general ideas about the elemental structures of living organism, though specifically incorrect, anticipated the subsequent identifications of the cell and development of cell. Rudolf Virchow, he was a German physician. He made a hypothesis that the new cells are formed only by the divisions of previously seen living cells. In Virchow's word, omnicellula e cellula, at that time, there were two ideas about the origin of life. First one is abiogenesis. It states that living things arise from non-living things. It was the most popular idea of that time. Biogenesis states that living things arise only from living things. Virchow's hypothesis supported the idea of biogenesis and opposed the idea of abiogenesis. On the basis of Virchow's hypothesis, a new working definition of the cell theory was formed. It states that living things are chemical organizations. These are composed of cells and capable of reproducing themselves. There are the three major cell theory. The first one is all living things are composed of cells. The second is cells are the basic units of structures and functions for living things. And lastly, all cells are come from pre-existing cells. That's all. Thank you so much.